hello there welcome back in this video lecture we'll uh, uh, see how to create an external table using spark job uh, in our previous video sessions we have seen uh, how to create an uh, hive table from spark job and we also seen uh, how to create a partition table uh, with the spark job uh, in this video lecture we'll try to see uh, we'll try to create a partitioned external table external partition table uh, from a spark job in a hive right uh, let me just quickly create a uh, spark job file and I'll also copy paste the boilerplate code till here it is a boilerplate code uh, just creating the spark session and uh, loading the file right and if you have not uh, seen my earlier videos uh, of creating a, a uh, creating a uh, spark a hive table using spark or creating a partition hive table uh, using spark i'll just uh, uh, leave uh, uh, links over uh, uh, the i note button you can click and uh, you can uh, check those videos and uh, right now i have uh, created a spark session with uh, hive support as enabled and i have given my uh, resource manager I have given my resource manager uh, uh, address and uh, I'm running my spark job in yarn client mode now I have my data frame also loaded uh, I'm loading a CSV file using a CSV file options like a header and uh, info schema and uh, I have loaded my uh, I have loaded my data frame as well now I want to write this data frame as an external table and uh, before I uh, try before I show the uh, that about the external table I would like to uh, I would like to tell like the by default whenever you are creating a hive uh, table using spark job it will be creating an internal table or managed table uh, so just if you want to cross check whether you have uh, created as uh, um, what kind of table uh, spark job has created uh, you can go to the hive and you can run a command I can show the same command in Impala as well uh, something called show create table and I can give the table name uh, and uh, you can see uh, the order is not uh, proper uh, but when you see that the location where the hive uh, table has been created right it is in the hive warehouse you can see here right the table whatever we have created uh, using a spark job normal spark job it creates and manage tables where the data and uh, the metadata of the data will be stored into a uh, hive warehouse but if you want to create an external uh, table using spark job you have to explicitly specify uh, that you have to you, you want to create an external table that can be done uh, uh, with a very pretty simple option in uh, spark it's very straightforward thing uh, so I'll just use uh, spark uh, sorry data frame dot write dot and uh, I'll use uh, mode what kind of mode I would like to use uh, save mode it is overwrite again I'll use this and there is something called option method in option method you can uh, specify what are the options you want to use when you are writing your data frame uh, so in this option I would like to uh, mention something called path right so uh, in when you specify this path right you can specify which where you want to create your uh, uh, table exactly right so I would like to give this uh, location as spa, uh, user talent origin and I would like to create uh, uh, external table table this is my uh, location where I want to create my uh, uh, hive table right what I'm telling uh, uh, write the data frame uh, with the mode as overwrite and uh, with the option as path where the path is uh, pointing to user talent origin external table this is the location where I would like to create my external table and in our, our previous video lecture we also created a partition table right uh, here also we'll try to create the partition table uh, by using a partition by uh, function or a method uh, and by specifying series right uh, because if in our previous video we have seen uh, uh, how to uh, uh, which which on which column or uh, we have to create a partition table right so if you have not gone through my previous video I'll just uh, leave a iNote button uh, you can click that and you can uh, go through the previous video and uh, uh, come back to this video 
and uh, I have given the partition by and now I'll use something called save as table here I'll mention where I want to create I'll I would like to create under spark course and uh, I would like to create under spark course under spark course uh, I would like to use external partition table this is the table name uh, I would like to give right so this is very straightforward for creating a uh, external table in spark so let's quickly run this job and see whether we are able to create this uh, external table uh, using spark or not now that spark job is complete let's quickly check uh, our uh, impala shell uh, so show tables the table is not listed here so let me run in validate metadata because i'm running uh, impala shell i would like to uh, i have to run this command every time and impala uh, now if you see uh, there is a table created right so let's see show table stats and give this command and you can see that partitions are created right and you can also see uh, where the uh, data is getting stored see you can see that uh, user talent origin and external table right this is the location where we have given uh, which uh, this is the location which we have given in our uh, spark job right so in this uh, in this location itself we are uh, uh, able to uh, create uh, all the partitions and uh, all the data is getting stored over there right uh, if you want to see this location again uh, there is another option uh, uh, which is uh, can run something called uh, show create a table and you can give the table name and you can see that that location of the table where it is creating it is uh, external table under user talent origin right uh, this is uh, very straightforward and very simple guys uh, to create an external table using uh, uh, apache spark external table and the partition table or even a table it's very straightforward and very simple uh, procedure you just have to have the data handy in your data frame and everything will be taken care by the spark you don't have to worry about anything else right uh, so that's it for this video lecture guys and uh, uh, see you in the next video lecture and uh, before leaving if you are uh, uh, new to this channel please sub subscribe to the channel uh, and if you are, if you like this video just give it a thumbs up and uh, it will be re really motivating Th okay uh, thanks guys and uh, see you in the next video bye guys